Hi everyone, my name is Peter and welcome to the part 2 of my teapot surfacing and solid tutorial. Today we have to do a few trims as you can see and a few surfaces and one of these is extruded as you can see and the other one is something like a patch. So let's get started. Let's open our part and we got one small uh, change to do. I did something wrong in this sketch. So 175 goes from this this or this point. Okay. 175 okay so that was my small mistake and now we can I guess continue with no problems yeah everything is fine so now we have a right plane sketch to do I'm gonna turn around on the left side and draw one center line that goes from the origin to the midpoint of this edge and let's do one line so that line goes 55 and it's a 55 um, 27.5 from the center line, it's halfway. Um, yeah, okay, 75 from this edge. And it's gonna be center line, construction geometry. And let's draw two more. One here, and make sure they are both vertical. Okay, now you can see them better, better. And let's draw two tangent arcs from these two center lines we draw. Make sure it goes something like this. And same here. and distance between these two is 60 and between the center line and the first one is 30 and just one <laughs> small change right now this is not a center line it's a line exit the sketch Okay, now again, right plane sketch, now from the right side, view, but it's the same, never mind, and we are going to hide the previous sketch, draw a center line, and the center line goes from the origin 132, and let's draw two point curve, something like this, and another one, and distance between is 80 of course it's 40 here and now uh, select the curve and drag the control point drag them all and let's make this vertical and this one is also vertical and these two are horizontal so the vertical are 65 and the horizontal is 75 it looks quite strange, I hope it's fine 
I guess it is. Exit the sketch and do a trim surface only on the right side. Okay, and select the sketch and sketch six and do a trim surface on the left side. Okay. Now what we need to do is let's see um, plane by top plane um, one hundred twenty five sorry like this we can hide it and now we need one sketch on the plane one so here draw a center line that goes from the origin it's horizontal and it, it is 94 so here we also need two point curve that goes from this point to the center line and same here and this edge and the curve are tangents and same here now this control point is vertical same here and dimensions are like this 40 sorry um, 40 and 50 and 50 exit the sketch and make a sketch on the front plane now select this surface locked and do a intersection curve delete this edge and make a construction geometry of this edge we need a curve that goes from this point to somewhere around here and let's make these two coincident now these two are uh, equal curvature and distance is 65 okay now what we need to do is a uh, surface fill so fill surface patch boundary is this edge this edge this edge and this sketch and constraint curve is the sketch we just draw and select tangent apply to all edges and go to fix up boundary and merge results so that we don't have to, to knit them together it's what knitting means is the same and I think it's fine let's check yeah I'm not so perfect but I'm not obsessed with this part it was it was fine you see and for the end of today tutorial we got to uh, open this surface loft and select the sketch 5 on this sketch I'm not sure it's the same number at your part and do a surface extract by 8 millimeters and that was everything for today hope you enjoyed and see ya in my next part